तो बताओ चुनाव की क्या गर्मी यहाँ चल रही है जो हमारे को सपोर्ट करेंगे हम उसको सपोर्ट करेंगे यानी जो मुसलमान को सपोर्ट करेंगे हम उसको सपोर्ट करेंगे और आपको क्या लगता है अगर नरेंद्र मोदी प्रधानमंत्री बन जाता है तो उससे क्या कुछ असर पड़ेगा फर्क पड़ेगा मोदी को वजीर आजम हम नहीं बनने देंगे इतना इन हमारी भी कोशिश रहेगी पूरे मुस्लिम मिल एक जगह वोट डालेंगे शायद हम हम इतना भी कर सकते हैं कि कांग्रेस को वोट देंगे मगर मोदी को वोट नहीं दे सकते हम क्योंकि एक बार जो धोखा देता बार बार धोखा देता उसके ऊपर बिलीव हम नहीं कर सकते The elections in Andhra Pradesh are going to be particularly crucial this time around. Remember that if the Congress party won in 2004-2009, it was because of the 29 and the 33 seats that they won from the United State of Andhra Pradesh. This time, it's completely different. For one, from the 2nd of June, you're going to have the bifurcation of the state into Sima Andhra and Telangana. So what effect is that going to have? And number two, the Telugu Desam party and the BJP tying up, what difference is that going to make? And point number three, the Congress party itself, not the force it once was here in Andhra Pradesh, especially after YSR is not there anymore. What's all of this going to affect? How is this going to impact the election? Big, big question to ask. Hello and welcome to a special episode of The Big Fight. The Big Fight continues to be on the road and this episode is coming to you from Hyderabad, which is in Andhra Pradesh, arguably one of the most interesting and one of the most important elections this time in 2014. Interesting because one state is about to break into two on the 2nd of June and all sorts of permutations and combinations are going to follow that. Crucial because this is the state that really led the Congress party to electoral success in 2004 and in 2009. 29 and 33 seats for the Congress party. This time it's going to be very different. This time there are a number of other, other, other parties which are out there in the fray. The Congress party itself seems to be on the wane. Um, what's going to happen with all these alliances is really, really going to be a fascinating subject. So we have a great panel here with us from all, all uh, walks, all, every political sphere which you can think of, uh, who are going to try and shed some light on what's actually going to happen here in Andhra Pradesh. Let's also remember, uh, folks, that Andhra Pradesh is going to go to vote both for the Lok Sabha and the Assembly and it's going to go into vote as a united state. So let me start by welcoming all the guests uh, whom we have with us here. First of all, Mr. Raj Gopalakrapati, who was a Lok Sabha MP from the Congress party. It's an indication, sir, of how fast and how far things are moving that I would have introduced you two, three months ago as Congress party. And then you were there in the JSP's press conference and now apparently you're with no party at all. So fast moving developments as we see. So, so, but, but, but great, to, great to have you uh, with us here. Um, Dr. Lakshmi Narayan, TDP leader, thank you so much uh, for, for being with us. Um, TDP in alliance now with the BJP, um, after saying it would never be in an alliance with the BJP, so what impact that's going to have, uh, we'll, we'll be asking you all the questions. And then there's a party which is going to be really a contender here now in Telangana, a state that you have fought for for such a long time. Um, Dr. Shavan, thank you so much for being with us. You're a spokesperson and a Politburo member of the TRS. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us and we'll, we'll get your take on what's going to happen. Asuddin, uh, uh, Asaruddin Awesi, uh, Lok Sabha MP from the uh, AIMIM, uh, old friend of ours on the big fight. So great to, to have you back with us uh, as well, Asad. Uh, uh, th thanks for being with us. And uh, sitting next to him, N. Ramchandra Rao, who's the BJP spokesperson, especially from here in the Telangana region. Of, uh, of Andhra Pradesh, uh, separate state, as I said, after the 2nd of June. And then we have two journalists who perhaps know more about what's going to actually happen here in Andhra Pradesh than anyone else I can, I can think of. Uh, King Shuknag, the resident editor of the Times of India here in Hyderabad, and NDTV's own Uma Sudhir, who, who has been taking me through in exhaustive detail through every single caste combination that can possibly exist in uh, Andhra Pradesh and in Telangana, and we're going to get you to talk about it. Great to have all of you with us. Madhu God uh, Yatsky is also going to be is also joining us now. Um, he's going to be joining us on, on satellite. I'm going to be throwing some questions as to what the Congress Party makes of all of this. Um, why don't I start off with, with each of you and, and, and Mr. Dr. Lakshmi Narayan, why don't I start with you? Because it was repeatedly stated by the Telugu Desam Party that we are never going to get into alliance with the BJP. Now, of course, the alliance has come through. Uh, what sort of electoral dividends is this going to pay you? Uh, and have you done this because of the Modi factor 
uh, uh, playing a role in the Lok Sabha or is it because you were concerned about the rise of Jagan Reddy in, in, in other areas which were once your bastion? No, it is like this. Uh, as time passes on, everything will evolve. And uh, in Andhra Pradesh, it's as you said, it is very important and crucial. Therefore, Telugu Desam Party has to take a decision in the overall interests of the state and nation as such. That is the reason why we have, have an alliance with the BJP. We were in the NDA. Now we have also decided to have an alliance. And you know the performance of the Congress in the last 10 years, how the country is rudderless now. There's a corruption. In fact, across the globe, people are watching what is happening to this democracy in India. And you think all of that is going to change now? Yes. In the, in the, in yes. the coming days. Ma Madhugar Yaski, let me get you to respond to that. He said that they had to do this because of the performance of the Congress Party. Well, it's good for us because it's an unholy alliance, unethical alliance. BJP, a TDP apologized to the people of Andhra Pradesh for aligning with the BJP during the NDA rule after the Godra incident. And now what face Mr. Chandrababu has, what credibility BJP has, because BJP state leadership keeps saying that we will never have alliance with the TDP. They were like abusing each other. So now this shows this political opportunism between the BJP and TDP and the people of Telangana will not accept it and it's good for us. Dr. Shavan Kumar, let me turn to you next. The, the TRS, what's at stake for you now? You've got the state that you wanted. There was a time when the TRS had said that you were actually going to merge with the Congress party if they did create Telangana. They created Telangana. Not only are you not merging with them, but there's also talk that you might well be a Narendra Modi supporter or backer if he needs the extra numbers after the elections are over. Now, at this point of time, that is not a point of discussion. Our job primarily is to ensure that there is a healthy and a harmonious society. Here, Ganga, Jamuna, Tehjeeb ka ek mahol barso se aata hai. We wanted to protect that. So, therefore, that, that point is not an issue of discussion. Second it's point... It's not an issue of discussion right now, but you're not saying whether you will or you won't. We, we will not. That's what I'm saying. One and a half we months will, we, will not. we will not. We will not. At that time, you will take Absolutely. the decision as it's appropriate. The second point that you were talking about is that Congress, uh, why is that you know you have not uh, merged or why is that you are not having any kind of an alliance, you know. In democracy, uh, a political party having fought for about 13 years and then we secured our own state, wouldn't we have a responsibility to reconstruct the Telangana? So why is that, you know, we should not be allowed to be standing on our own and then fighting uh, for the cause of Telangana reconstruction? So with that vision, the commitment that we have towards the people of Telangana, we want to be independent and then, you know, fight along. Okay, Asuruddin Awesi, what's your sense of everything that's happened? You must be slightly bemused because while things have to have, may not have changed that much for you, your areas of importance and dominance, especially here in Hyderabad and others, but across in the state, the entire landscape has shifted and shifted very fast. Certainly, I, 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 in my opinion, I feel that the real contest is going to be in Telangana. Uh, with due respect to the Telugu Desam people, uh, you know, the biggest problem in Telugu Desam now is credibility because the same argument was given by Mr. Lakshmi Narayan's party in 1998, in 1999, in 2004. Now again they are saying the same thing, the country requires uh, strong leadership, rudderless, all these things. So, uh, I, uh, but I really don't think so that with 24% of vote uh, in, in Andhra Pradesh last time and BJP having 3.75, I don't think so. It's going to be a formidable uh, 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 combination in Simandra. The competition is going to be in Telangana, and here the real fight is for each and every ode. But I am really bemused, and, and I'm basically I'm not really surprised with the consistency of inconsistencies of Chandrababu Naidu, because whenever he required a support from secular parties, he said I'm a secular man. Whenever he required a support from BJP, he said no, the nation requires. So he's a very confused man and that is the biggest drawback of Telugu Desam which is not going to help. He might have absorbed all the big heavyweights of Congress party but I'm sure those heavyweights will sink his own party. 
Okay, I mean, let me get you to respond to that. And actually, yes. I, 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 before I'm, you respond to that, can I just, I just wanted to read out to you some of the statements that have been made by Chandra Babu Naidu. He said, I'm ap apologizing to Muslims for making that mistake. There will not be any alliance with any communal forces in the future. That was Chandra Babu Naidu or the TDP's Mahanadu in May 28, 2011. He said, there will be no effect of Modi in Andhra Pradesh. That he said, just June 11, 2013. We lost the elections in 2004 because of the Gujarat riots that was Naidu with reporters in March 2012. You know, he's made repeatedly made statements like this, which is why, as Mr. Ovesi says... You know, Ovesi says, I also respect him, uh, I know him. But the question is, it's not about the credibility. It is the question of how times change. Now the times have changed. Then it was the situation. You know what has happened in the courts. What, what was the wording? Or you know about sit everything. Therefore, times are changing. Now the country times is the last... Times have changed so much that in September 27, 2012, Mr. Naidu says, alliance with the BJP was the biggest mistake of my life. Such a situation will never arise again. This was September 27, 2012. Yes. So that's yes. one yes. and a half years. Times no, have changed no, really fast. No, no, no. Vikram, we do make statements. But as situation progresses, the whole thing... The country, what, what has the Congress has done to this country? Where are we going? The whole world is watching. The corruption, non-governance. Here is a Prime Minister who is not thought, from, who is not from the Lok Sabha. He doesn't know anything. He's a puppet. Uh, Vikram, I just want to ask Lakshmi Narayan one thing. If that was the case, why didn't they bring a no-confidence motion against the Congress-led government in the state over here? For one year, they kept quiet. You were supporting indirectly the Congress party in here. You know, didn't you, didn't you realize that the, the country was rudderless, the Congress was weak, the Congress was corrupt, but you were indirectly supporting Kiran Kumar Reddy from outside. You have never brought a no-confidence motion. For one year, in, in fact, 11 months, 5 days, Kiran Kumar Reddy was in power only because of your support. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. I mean, it, Mr. Lakshmi Narayan, you are an ex-bureaucrat. I know that. It should not be like that. You know what kind of parties are in Andhra Pradesh now. Lots Who are the people by the earning crores, thousands and thousands of crores? You want me to make the such parties uh, grow in this thing? That is, that's what you want, Mr. Vaisiji? No, no, as you rightly said in your initial remarks, situation evolves. So political party will come up. But my... No, my, I'm not, I'm not no, asking my, anybody. No, no, no my question to you, Mr. Lakshmi Narayan, is that how is it that you were supporting Kiran Kumar Reddy? We are not supporting him. For one year you were there, ask Rajgopal. We are not supporting Now Rajgopal is a neutral man. He's laughing on my <laughs> let point. Let, let, let you were supporting. We are, not, we are not supporting. You were supporting. We are not supporting. I mean, you didn't realize. Now that, now, now that Mr. Ovesi is doing my job for me, I was about to ask you, but seeing as he's... he's no, Rajgopal would, would corroborate what I'm saying. I mean, okay. Rajgopal now is a neutral man. We can share see. more secrets now. Why do you want to drag me? No, no, you might as well share secrets now. <laughs> You were with the Congress, then you were at a press conference with Mr. Kiran Kumar, so now you can tell us all the inside story. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about no, the camera. We cameras. don't want tell to wait the for a memoir. Yeah, there there, many, there, there, the see, the there are many inside stories, which I don't want to reveal now. In appropriate time, I'll definitely reveal all those things. <laughs> but coming back to what uh, my friend... Mr. Asa, Raj Gopal, please do tell us the stories. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to start discussing other stories with you, such as pepper spray. <laughs> I had said I will not discuss so, papers. That, 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 see, that's an open story. Everybody knows. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing, story. To, there's nothing to hide in that. <laughs> okay, let's discuss that then. So, uh, coming back to our, uh, my friend uh, Oasis. See, definitely, see, in 2011, December, there was a no contest motion moved by the opposition. In that no contest motion, Kirin Kumar, his government, and Congress government survived the no contest motion. It is not that the opposition has not brought in the no contest motion, and TDP did vote against the Kirin Kumar government, against the Congress government. So, we, we, we can't expect parties to bring in no contest every year. Every, every See, months. they are voted for five years and the opposition should have the patience to sit for five years. Yeah. Unless there is a serious concern. Rajgopal, can I just and interview Rajgopal? I myself, no, 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 I, I no, no, myself no, 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 Rajgopal, as good as... Rajgopal, Rajgopal, you as a Simandar MP brought a no confidence motion against, against your against own government, government in Delhi. four months before election. Yes, that's right. Against my own government in Delhi, UPA government, I did move a no contest motion. I secured 60 MP support for that. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, that, that was. I, I, I would have discussed what happened in Parliament. At, I'm, I'm sorry. So I that was to, a different issue. It was one of the most, some of the most spectacular. Well, spe I'm using the word spectacular as perhaps <laughs> not the word to use. So some that was a different most, issue. Some of the most but, um, bizarre, but, but, I think, scenes that we have seen in Parliament. <laughs> okay. Can, can I, just, can I get, just get the BJP? Can I get, just get the BJP? Mr. Ramchandra Rao, at the present moment, this alliance with the TDP, who's riding on whose coattails? You need it. 
The BJP needed the support in Andhra Pradesh, which is a state from where you never won too many seats. Right now, is this an alliance that both are happy with, or are there many in the BJP who are feeling Telugu Desam Party is also going to be, to some extent, riding on the coattails of uh, whatever what is being called a Narendra Modi wave? There was some uh, uh, opinion in our party leadership that we should go alone because by that time, Telugu Desam had not approached us and uh, the NDA partners who were earlier with us, they were all trying to come to us, but by the time the situation was not clear. But subsequently, when uh, people have given their feelings that they want to join back to the NDA fold, then we have, uh, the National Party has taken a decision to go for an alliance, and especially with our ex-partners. And Teludation was the most uh, natural ally of them because we had already had uh, uh, two, three alliances earlier also, till 2004. So therefore, even in spite of the division of opinion among our leaders in Telangana areas especially, uh, the, uh, the alliance had taken place and we are happy and we are, uh, we are sure that will make a good impact in the coming okay. elections. Can I just ask you, you must be slightly bemused by this as many other people are. I mean, till five, six months ago, there was a popular belief that Mr. Narendra Modi is going to be almost an untouchable for all other allies. No one is going to be willing to, to tie up with, with uh, Narendra Modi. It's, it's slightly strange that five, six months later, out of all the parties sitting out here and all the parties that are there in Andhra Pradesh, perhaps with the exception of Mr. Ovesi, who's sitting next to you, most of them are, there's talk about the possibility that they could support a Narendra Modi government. Telugu Desam Party is already doing it, TRS, whatever Mr. Dr. Shavan Kumar is saying right now, may end up, even uh, there's talk possibly of Jagan uh, coming in and giving support. Of all of these possible partners, uh, BJP is comfortable with all of them or no? Because uh, one thing I can't speak of the Jagan and other because it is only speculative. But as far as TRS is concerned, we must also remember that in 2009, after the, soon after the election, Mr. TRS uh, leader, Mr. KCR, he rushed to Ludhiana and met Advani and said, I am supporting the NDA. Yeah. And this is how. So this may also happen this time because now Modi is garnering a lot of support from other so-called secular parties also. Algari has praised him, Karnanadi has praised him. Now, there are many people in the line who are joined to, who are, who want to join the uh, Modi's team and support Modi after the elections. So Jump onto the, the bandwagon, I think, in the words you are looking post for. post packs are always in, uh, in democracy, okay. in a Dr. alliance Shavan government. Kumar, it is end a, the suspense it is a, and tell him that uh, you will. Mr. 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 Vikram, uh, I think we have to stop this speculative debate. Uh, you know, that is but likely to happen. Let, 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 me, let, me, let, let, me, let me share what is our policy and what is our viewpoint. TRS as a secular party would not align now and in future also with any kind of um, the religious forces. What has happened in 2009? What has happened in 2009? No, no, I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm going to try. See, this is being recorded. So now I'm trying to figure out. When you are saying that you will not ally with any religious forces, do you include the BJP as a religious force? Oh, why not? I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm going on. No, not why not? That. Are you? Are you not? I'm saying the same thing. BJP, so you're not aligning with the BJP. BJP, we will yeah. not align if that is okay. so. Well, if, well, I mean, I mean, you are saying you will not align uh, with the BJP. Let, let, me come, let, let me complete. Let me complete. No, so we will it, not align with BJP now. We have not aligned now. We will not align in future also. We want Ganga, Jamuna, Tehjib to be protected here. Bhai Bahan ke jaise hum log yahan pe musalman aur hindu log yahan pe jeete hain and we want to protect that and to align with BJP means we are trying to create a, some kind of an unhealthy environment in Telangana. We don't want to do that. Okay, so that's what you are saying. This is being recorded on this particular date. Now, I will, we will come and we will speak to you again on the 17th of May, sir. <laughs> and as, as we did have, as we did hear, as we just now, as we just now heard from uh, you know, Dr. Lakshmi Narayan that the situation can change. In their case, it was from September 27, 2012 till now. So let's see if your tone changes or not uh, 45 days from now. Hello. But we'll talk to you. 40 days from now, we'll talk to you. Uh, Kinshuk, am I being cynical out here or is this a real possibility? <coughs> I think it's a real possibility. Whether it will happen or not, we can't say. It, uh, it, it may also depend on the numbers, uh, also if any are needed by Mr. Modi. You see, normally, Parties have been anti-Congress. That is why TDP is joining hands with BJP. So if TRS is also fighting elections against the Congress, why is it impossible for them to tie hands with the BJP? See it from that angle. Okay. So, Uma, let me get you in on, on, on this. All the permutations and combinations. One, two new states we are going to see. And both those states will want a friendly government at the center for their own reasons. One, the TRS obviously has made many, many promises here and they would certainly want a government that's friendly at the centre and if they are seeing the BJP forming a government at the centre, they would certainly hope that with their substantial number of MPs, they would want to join that government. There are no two ways about it. Second, 
for the TDP, allying with the BJP is a political compulsion certainly at this state. Chandrababu Babu Naidu has been out of power for 10 years now and he needs to make it to power this time around. Many political forces changing, social forces changing on the ground here and this is a time that he has to strike and in a sense the time is really opportune for him to stri strike because there was a time when the, the Congress is down, his main enemy is down in the other side. You have a YSR party, YSR Congress, if it is going to be a two-cornered fight, he needed something else that could get him that X factor and that <coughs> X factor, if it is going to be Narendra Modi, he is willing to correct the mistake or repeat what he called the greatest mistake of his life. He is not going to have any qualms about that because now he doesn't okay. blame uh, Modi any longer for the route in 2004. You were right, he did say that Narendra Modi obliquely or otherwise was responsible for the route in 2004. But now he blames other factors, drought, uh, uh, the, the farms yeah. not being not working well. So Mr. Modi is no longer... That's what I'm saying, things change and I want to see how fast this thing is going to change. Yeah, Kinshuk, you want to add to what Uma said? I want to add something. I think uh, Jagan's calculation is all the same. Everybody wants to support the power centre in Delhi and because they are new states, they don't have resources. So they need the support of the central government. And Modi inspires a lot of fear, as you know, quote unquote. And therefore, a lot of people think that they should not be on his wrong side. Though that fear may not be justified, but that is his image, what it is. Okay, so, 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 Dr. Shavan Kumar, is this going to be the speech that we will hear from the TRS on the 18th of May, 17th, 18th, 19th of May? Why? I mean, Uma, Uma just gave you the no, line. No, let me, let me you answer. You see, it's a new, Telangana is a new state, we need support. We must get a special status for Telangana. We need a central package. That's the reason we are supporting the BJP See, government. Today, today we have to, I mean, the whole world is watching this show now. Today, Modi's tallest claim is that I have developed Gujarat so wonderfully, so therefore I'll develop the entire country so wonderfully, so therefore vote me. That is what he's asking. Now you have to, you have to, you have to realize one thing here. Last 10 years, it is not BJP is in government in Delhi. It is the UPA Sarkar uh, that was ruling the Delhi. Which means a BJP government in Gujarat could do so much, if at all whatever they have done is right, they, have, they could do so much in Gujarat without having any kind of alliance or any relationship or connectivity, political or non-political, whatever the relationship they have with the central government, if they could develop, the same thing can happen in Telangana also. What is needed is commitment, conviction, dedication, understanding of the problems of Telangana. And today, having fought for 13 years in Telangana, having acquired the statehood for Telangana, we understand what the problem is and we have the commitment and dedication to get things done. It, it's not like a pyramid doing with Delhi to get money, right? After all, we are in democracy and then if the government of India has certain responsibility to grant certain funds and government of Andhra Pradesh or Telangana has its own role to play. So therefore, let's not uh, look at that only by having some kind of a alliance or relationship with the government of India, the states will prosper. If that is the case, Gujarat would have not developed there in that case. Okay, Mr. Ramchandra, before I come to you, you want to... No, no, what Mr. Savan has said, that he doesn't want to support the religious party and all those things. Then for Telangana, your KCR has gone to Rajna Singh, has gone to Sushma Swaraj, has gone to so many BJP leaders. And then Telangana is created because of the support to build up Telangana. And today you say it is a religious party. And moreover that, Mr. Savan should remember that the central government in Gujarat, uh, in uh, the UPA government has never cooperated with the Go Gujarat government or any other non-Congress government. It has been a grouse, it has been a complaint from the non-Congress government against the UPA government that they are not supporting them. It is on record by all the chief But he ministers. says that if Gujarat has grown despite that, then he says Telangana can too. Telangana no, no. will do better, Telangana will have to do better, Telangana aspirations are definitely have to be addressed too by the government and I am sure Modi's okay. government will definitely address it. Vikram. Dr. Shangavan, Wait, one, one, one word Vikram, if big I mean, fight I, I, is all about mudslinging, let me do that. that 40, days, 40 days before the counting is happening, we are already trying to figure out who is going to be allying with whom in a possible Modi government, but that's just the way journalism is. Okay. Sir, you wanted to say something? No, I wanted to ask Mr. Ram Rao, you know, this is not a forum where we have to do mudslinging. But then, while they claim that, Not you know, we have some... Yeah, let, 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 me, let me complete, let me complete. We thank for their support, but we can also not forget the kind of drama last four days in the, um, you know, before the introduction of the bill in the Rajya Sabha, before the introduction of the bill in the parliament, the, what BJP the leaders creation, have said, Mishra what Adwani campaign. has said, we, have, we cannot forget, what Sushmaji has said, we cannot forget. I mean, let, so let, the whole world has watched it then, and you now claim that you only have supported and therefore the Telangana is a reality, then I think, you know, okay. we are trying because to, uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, the eyes of the people, you know? the parliament, both you, you have supported uh, to a certain extent. 
Yes. You also wanted you, to have you, a political you acknowledge advantage. That. You fund Thereby that. you wanted okay. to stall also. That's yeah. what I... You got on record. You, you, you can't, can't say the religious the party. Okay. What the party has said, you please go on record. This bill cannot be introduced is what he said. country earlier. It's a party ruling in nine states. You can't say religious party. Can I... I want to just come to some of the issues. And I'm so glad you spoke about the issues and the drama around the creation of Telangana because what happened in this entire case, how is it going to play out politically on the ground? Um, first of all, can I just say both both you, uh, Mr. Rajgopal and, and also uh, you, sir, um, what happened in Parliament, a lot of people were really uh, uncomfortable with it. The sort of scenes that we saw, and I'm not only referring to pepper spray, although you can talk about pepper spray if you want to, but the scenes that we saw, was that really the way that Telangana should have been born? I mean, weren't those, weren't those really sad scenes? Of course, the way that week after week, month after month, parliament was, was disrupted. Wasn't that rather sad? So the whole country knows my stand. I'm in completely disagreement with what happened. So I don't want to elaborate on that. What happened has happened. History is history. Past is past. I don't want to just go into that, dig into that and try to uh, in fact, uh, inflict further wounds on that. I don't want to just, I just, I just want to just heal all the wounds and erase all the scars. What happened is happened, past is past. At least going forward, at least we should be progressive and ensure that emotion sentiments should not play with any more lives. I am sure about that. I just want to stick to that. So end all scars, heal all scars. What about healing the scars within the Congress party? Are you going to go back at some point? See, I quit politics. I am not contesting. There is no question of going back to any party. Since I'm not aligned with any party, so I felt that I might be a misfit in politics. So I felt that because what I see, what my experience in the last 11 years with politicians or political parties, I think opportunism... Was that because of your experience in parliament or no? Yeah, both inside and outside the parliament. Everything. <laughs> so I felt that let me part. just take a break. Let me away from all this politics. Okay, fine. So, uh, Madhu God, let me just ask you that. The, the, what happened in what happened, of course, in Parliament, we all saw the birth of Telangana also meant the split of the Congress Party in this particular state, and that's the second split since the last elections. We already saw YSR Congress uh, breaking away. Uh, where does all of this leave the future of the Congress now in this state? Uh, let, let's remember what we are talking about. We are talking about 29 seats in 2004. We are talking about 33 seats in 2009, and now the Congress is in smithereens, really, in, in Andhra Pradesh. I, I don't think it's been really a mess because the mess which was created, rather we cleaned it up by taking a decision dividing the state and uh, the commitment which given to the people of Telangana and uh, creating the state of Telangana and the mess which was already existing in Simandra, more or less now it's a cleaned up. I feel it's, a, it's a, the real Congress workers are with the Congress now and the people who acted for their own benefits and as if they were in the Congress for not for, for the party's sake but their, for own, their business or their self future, uh, political future sake. So they have left. Let me, let me just turn yes. to you. The, the birth of Telangana, uh, be, could it not have been that, done in I a great I differ with what uh, uh, she has said. Uh, Chandrababu Naidu is not for power. The people after the division, both in Simandra they have they are likely to choose a leader with the tested leadership qualities moral courage determination and vision who can deliver the goods similarly in telangana also i see you I, didn't use the word consistency there <laughs> consistency <laughs> is also <laughs> consistency is also consistency yes also. yes people it is the campaign of the congress you know i have to say this congress the greatest liar in India is Congress, Indian National Congress, you should remember that. They can say, if there is nothing there, they can show as if something is there. They are expert in that art. That is what they have done about Naidu. Okay, so, Mr. people want Madhukar in both Yaski, the places, the Congress in is the Telangana, we are, in the country. we are getting I have to a... to respond to that. Congress is the biggest liar in the country. Well, the biggest liar of Andhra politics is the Chandra Babu Naidu. Today, Mr. Naidu doesn't have the credibility the people of Telugu people, which he claims and uh, which though with, they don't believe him, basically. Whatever promises he makes, he breaks it. Kinshuk and, and Uma, the, the separation, the bifurcation of the state, which is interestingly going to happen after the election. So the 
Andhra Pradesh is going as a united state and then after that suddenly you're going to have the split taking place. Whom do you think is going to benefit electorally and why? You see, uh, in, uh, in Simandra, Jagan is going to gain and TDP, BJP is also gain. BJP is going to gain because of TDP. Otherwise, BJP was a bad word in Simandra because they supported the division. In this part of the world, TDP is going to gain BJP because they are riding on BJP because BJP has some cadres here and TDP is uh, seen as a Simandra party, so they won't have it. That's why you find the BJP leaders here locally in Telangana not very happy with the alliance with TDP. But I think that their central leadership has taken a view and because there are more seats there, in 1999 uh, the BJP had contested 8 Lok Sabha seats there and got 17 seats. So that's a big amount. If they can win even 7, 8 now, that's going to add to Modi's kitty. And they are looking for whatever, 275 plus or whatever. So it's part of their strategy. Mr. Naidu, I think, had double thoughts about all this. That's why he was delaying, delaying, delaying. Till at the last moment, he was convinced, sort of, or forced convinced by the BJP to enter into a deal. And today he's facing problems. Please answer one question. Uh, you are for empowerment of BCs, right? Yes. So why not empowerment of BCs yeah. in Simandra? Everywhere we are no, no, no. Why don't you make a BC chief minister in Simandra? Are you, are you saying that a BC of Telangana uh, is good and a BC of Simandra is not good enough because you have Mr. Naidu who belongs to the Kamba community? No, no, it's so not what like is this? See, this is are No, no, no. Please allow me to complete. See, these are the inconsistencies which are exposing you badly. You call Congress party, I don't hold a brief for Congress party, Mr. Lakshmi Narayan, you are an IS, you were an IS officer. Yes. You, you worked under Raj Shekhar Yes. So why didn't you voice your... I worked at that time? I mean, you, you were working under India. a, you know, a government which was lying also to you? Yes. You were, you, so you no, were an accomplice no. in that lie? No, 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 no. I have seen all the government. How? How? Uh, yes. No, no. Yeah, how, the, how did you work? Yeah, how did your conscience permit you to work for a government is lying? No, no. How no, did you? I mean, you, you should okay, have no, taken no, a bold no. stand and you should have resigned like all the, the IS officers have done. For what? Okay. For you know, for, for lying. For what? what no, you, you, were, you, were you, you as an accomplice, you are you, you're supporting the Congress party. Which By working in the government of Rajshekhar Reddy. Yes. How but did you do that? But no, then and, 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 and moreover, no, no, it's Vikram, not like that. But Vikram, 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 not every IS officer Vikram. resigns. Vikram. Oh, I know, I know. Mr. No, 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 no. I know. Sir, Vikram, you disagree Sir, with the government. No, Vikram, Sir, had I very soon, Vikram, in, I, if IS officers resigned no, no. every time the, uh, yeah. the political party did no, no, something no, no, wrong, why should I resign? No, 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 I have not you, taken any bribes. No, no, I have not taken any bribes. You allowed them to take bribes. You allowed them. You close your eyes. No, you are not. He is a political executive. Vikram, we have in Hyderabad. No, no, no. Why is he a season? man, no, you know everything. No, I am a seasoned man, but, but I am not an all-seasoned man. No, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> so, 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 let, let, okay, let me that. tell you something. Let me tell you, Vikram. In Hyderabad, we have a famous Yunani herbal medicine called Zinda Telisman. Yes. Which we feel that you apply for any ailment, it works. For Chandra Babu Naidu, secularism is like that. No. When it comes to San Zinda no. Tilismat, no. I, I need Muslim vote. <laughs> when I, nation Zinda Tilismat, I, I need Modi. And uh, this is what you're doing, boss. Please don't do it. No, Pe no. Okay. You know, people I, at I, large I, have no, seen no, your no, game. I totally disagree. Since the formation 1983, you know which is more secular. If at all any regional party in the country you is more secular, you supported BJP is, it when is, Gujarat no, we are supporting happened. BJP not you secular. supported what is the BJP? You supported the you tell me what is the definition of secularism? No, you, no, How those, you look at those it? Quotations defy, are there. Defy, those, those quotations are there. secularism. Okay. Here is an institution. Uma, here Uma, is a Congress Uma. which is spoiling the institution about the parliament, what, what she has done, the, uh, the Chandra great uh, speaker. Certainly hoping that what happened in 1999 will work, that the TDP-BJP alliance will work magic, both of them being able to make a sizable number, 7 MP seats, 36 in all, which was a huge tally that they were able to make in 1999. That time it was post Kargil, Atal Bihari Vajpayee. This time he is hoping it will be Narendra Modi, Modi really who will bring that magic to him and that's the reason why he has changed And bifurcation, will that play a role? Bifurcation, BJP certainly not a party that that's the reason why the delay happened also in the talks with the BJP and in allying with the BJP because after the bifurcation happened, TDP wanted to weigh the kind of uh, mood in Simandra region. And they realized that once bifurcation is something that's accepted, it's reconstruction, that's the next word. And therefore, words like governance, development, which are being used for uh, Chandra Babu Naidu at one point in time, and now for Narendra Modi, those would work with the people. Okay. My assessment of Telang in Telangana is BJP is going to completely eradicate TDP now. BJP is going to emerge a very stronger force. 
That is what Mr. Naidu has done a great disservice to secularism okay. by allowing BJP to grow intelligence. Can, 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 can I ask all of you one thing? Standard question that we go on asking in election after election is this going to be an election about development? And yes, Chandra Babu Naidu and Narendra Modi are both going to provide development. Is that the basis on which people are going to go and vote here? Or is it going to be on the basis of the caste factors and especially now what's going to happen in Telangana and the backwards caste community? Is that going to really come out? People are going to be voting on that reason or on the basis of communal polarization? What do you think, sir? What are, the, what are people going to be voting on the basis of? Unfortunately, uh, the caste is a very important factor in Indian politics. But uh, in Telangana, maybe after this uh, formation, the caste may not play a much uh, bigger role. But uh, as far as develop, after the bifurcation, the issues in Telangana have changed. Now the people of Telangana are, are, and the people of Simandra now have, have come with terms for the reality that both the states have been formed. Now the question before them is only development, reconstruction and whatever it may be. So therefore... So is the BJP going to try for any sort of communal polarization yes, or no? This, this, I, I only say that BJP had been strong in Telangana area even earlier also. We had one MLAs and MPs in each district of Telangana, the 10 districts. We had ruled uh, many uh, districts as municipal chairmen and other things. So for Telangana region, BJP had been a force. It is okay. still a force. We have a cadre, we have a leaders here. And definitely our presence, as uh, Mr. Avasi has said, that uh, we will be, we'll emerge stronger. We have already, we are stronger, we are emerging stronger. And we need some partners at this stage to help Narendra Modi to become the Prime Minister. That's Therefore, probably the alliance the, has taken place. That's probably the only time the BJP has agreed with something that Mr. Ovesi has said in a long, long time. The truth, they have agreed yeah. the truth. Yeah, he, he, he said the truth, so I always support truth. Okay. Now, Mr. Mr. Ovesi, Mr. Ovesi, are you expecting, especially because this, the Lok Sabha election in particular are about making Narendra Modi the Prime Minister, that's the way the BJP is putting it. That's the way this election is almost increasingly getting portrayed. Are you seeing, are you going to see, uh, do you think you're going to see a lot of communal polarization? I, I'm sure the, the point which I'm going to make now again is going to agree with me. The seats which Mr. Naidu has left in Sima Andhra, I'll give an example, Rayal Sima. Those assembly constituencies have more than 25% of Muslim voters. They have been deliberately left for BJP. Why? Because Chandrababu Naidu wants polarization. The seats which Mr. Naidu has left for BJP in Telangana, I can go on record, I can challenge, they have more than 28% of Muslim votes. What Mr. Naidu is doing, he is very cleverly trying to polarize the whole atmosphere in favor of BJP in Telangana and in Simandra so that, it, you know, but and can yes, I just, the, the elections, you know, all these development, I don't, you know, but with the utmost Vikram, respect, Vikram, Mr. Ovesi, hang on, hang on. Why do you only blame somebody else for communal polarization? It's not as if your party no, doesn't I do I it. Totally your disagree. own brother, totally your own brother has made one of the most polarizing v speeches Vikram, that I've ever heard. V Vikram, I, I, I don't make this grandiose announcement. I am what I am. You like me or you hate me. That's it. But let me tell you, so you know, no problem no, no, saying that no, you're doing communal no, no, polarization. You know, I, you know, we can have a debate on that. We can no, have a debate. No, we can have a debate on that. You know, I, I don't, I don't question. agree with your contention. You don't that, agree that it's a that, no, that I, I let me point out to you that Andhra Pradesh, you have to get your caste combination right. That is why I had said that a BC is good enough to lead Telangana, but a BC of Simandra is not good enough to lead Telugu Desam. Why is that? Secondly, Telugu Desam is completely Kamma party. Where is the ready vote? Where is the ready road? Telangana is going to be a communal cauldron in coming days. I thought, but now it is right. Now it is going to happen. But you don't. Is going but to happen. I'm asking you. But Mr. Ovesi, I'm asking you whether you also share no. some of the blame All for that. All the it's going guys to be a are represented to from the last 30 years. It is totally unwarranted comment. Ovesi, it's not like that. If that is the way, every party need to be branded like that. That's not a correct no, statement. I am, you I am, no, no, Mr. no. Lakshmi plus Narayan, you are telling, Mr. Lakshmi no, Narayan, I, I am branded, I, I am Tirupati, branded, you are not branded. branded. You are not branded because you hide no, your casteism, you no, hide no, your communism. We'll never hide. In the, no, in the name no, of no, governance, no, in the name no, of consistency, no, no. Okay. in the name if of the so don't do that. Party, okay. Which is for the benefit of the common okay. man, NPR has shown All right, by the mandals, by the abolition of this uh, patwari, you this thing. supported BJP. Yeah. Okay. By supporting BJP, what will happen? You supported BJP. Gujarat, Gujarat happened. If Muslim Gujarat League happened. and Indian Congress... Gujarat happened. Be, Karla, that you, you, happen. you don't worry about Gujarat? No, no, no. no you don't no, worry no. about that car. That is okay. not the can way you, you have sit, to... Can you, you sit you, in front of Zakia Jafri and tell her... 
I don't what happened, no, nothing no, no, happened. Can that. you sit? Can your leaders in the front of Zakia Jaffrey please? What tell you are preaching? No, don't no, no, you cannot blame like okay. that. That is you not can, the good way. You have a dual okay. policy. Okay, no, can no, I no, no, can I can I take a break? I want to get the audience in here. If at all any parties for the benefit of the common man, for the development of the state, both the states, it is telling you that song. What it preaches, it will do. It is not rhetoric. Unlike the Congress or other people with whom you are sailing.